they must have the the activation energy at least at least the activation energy to react so this side is the molecules that are not that do not react upon collision they result in unsuccessful collision and the green area which uh, represents the number of particles with energy more than the activation energy represents the particles that have enough energy to collide and react so as you can see among so many particles among so many particles distributed like this only a few of them can collide successfully and react so, so if we lower the activation energy then the green area increases because now the activation energy is here uh, the red line represents the new activation energy and uh, the green area i have extended the green area and it will represent the number of particles with energy greater than the activation energy so now you can see that the total number of particles with energy greater than the activation energy is greater so the rate of reaction will be faster because there will be more successful collisions as more particles have energy greater than the activation energy so this is what i'm trying to say the lower the activation energy the faster the reaction because the more the number of molecules that have sufficient energy to collide more frequently and successfully so this is how we interpret a boltzmann distribution curve you will have to remember this because sometimes it may come in the exam to draw and sometimes it may uh, sometimes it comes to interpret so in any case you will have to know what this means now effect of temperature on the rate of reaction as temperature increases the particles gain energy so as the particles gain energy they will move faster of course and as they move faster they will collide more frequently and since they are colliding more frequently there will be more successful collisions and they are also colliding with greater energy they are colliding with a lot more energy so since they are colliding with a lot more energy there will also be more successful collisions so the number the hence the collisions between particles occur more frequently and more successfully and as a result the rate increases so as temperature increases the rate of reaction increases now let's understand this using a boltzmann distribution curve so at 300 kelvin temperature we have this boltzmann distribution the red one and at 310 k kelvin uh, not celsius sorry at kelvin at 310 kelvin the we have the blue boltzmann distribution curve so now you can see that when the temperature increases the peak of the curve which is this it shifts to the right it shifts to the right and the curve becomes more flatter from the top so you have to remember these two things point 1 the peak shifts to the right as temperature increases the peak shifts to the right and is lower so uh, instead of lower we'll say it's flatter the peak shifts to the right as temperature increases i'm just writing arrow as temperature increases and the peak becomes flatter as temperature increases so you will have to remember this because you may be asked to draw uh, to draw a boltzmann distribution curve in the exam and the peak becomes flatter so as as temperature increases so as you can see the peak has become flatter over here and it has also shifted to the right now this results in the peak uh, in the 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 end of the curve lying above the original curve which was at a lower temperature so if this is my activation energy the uh, just a second i'll make a proper straight line so if this straight line represents my activation energy ea then at 300 kelvin only this amount of this number of molecules have energy greater than the activation energy but 
at 310 Kelvin, we have more molecules which have uh, energy greater than, either, than the activation.